Now for that story that I had hinted about. And this story is actually a scandalous story. And it involves the Jonathan Taves figure you're seeing on the upper left corner there, as well as the John Tavares figure down on the, on the bottom right corner. It involves the autographed chase versions of those two uh, in particular players, Jonathan Taves and John Tavares. And this story dates back to probably about 20 or 11, 2011 or so. And I remember reading uh, the story or following the story on the spawn board, um, which was a place to go to, you know, at, uh, 15 plus years ago. The spawn board was a place to go to for not just buy, sell, trade of figures, but also for news and updates and kind of what's going on in the hobby. And so the story broke on, on the spawn board. I remember following it again back in the day. And the story alleges that at this time, back in, again, 2011 or so, the Canadian retail giant Grossner was getting in, I guess, excess hockey figures, these NHL 24 you're seeing, maybe extra figures are sitting around the McFarland warehouse. And Grossner Retail was receiving 50-50 cases of Jonathan Taves, John Tavares. And what I mean by 50-50 is there's 12 figures packed in a case, six are Jonathan Taves, six are John Tavares, and there's also randomly packed autographed chase versions packed into those cases. Well, anyway, as the story, as the story goes, it's observed by, let's just say, more than a few people that there is one seller in particular on eBay who has multiples of each Taves and Tavares chase figure, autographed chase figure. And mind you, there is only 200 produced of each one. So there's only 200 autographed chase versions of Taves in the whole world, as well as John Tavares, 200 of each. And one eBay seller is observed to have multiples of each one. Uh, I think maybe five or six or seven of each Taves and Tavares autographed chase. And then it comes to light later on, and, and I don't remember how, that not only is the eBay seller from Canada, but it comes to light that he's employed by the Grossner Retail Company, the retail chain giant in Canada, and he works at their distribution warehouse. And so once again, the allegations now made that this employee is being unscrupulous and that he's cherry picking the autographed chase uh, figures in the, in the distribution warehouse and replacing those cases with regular figures. So when that case, when that specific case goes to the Grossner Retail Store and they unpack it, there's 12 figures in there. So it's not going to be a loss prevention issue or an internal shrink issue. There'll be 12 figures in there, but the, but any autograph figures have been removed by this guy or girl and replaced with regular figures. And so that allegations made on the spawn board at this time. And the allegation aside, now there's an appeal being made to Todd McFarlane and the McFarlane company on the spawn board by this group of collectors or whomever they were about more or less, Todd, what are you going to do about this problem or about this allegation? And I remember at the time, Todd's response was, was very tepid. It was along the lines of, well, I appreciate your concern, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do because once the cases of product leave my warehouses and arrive at Grosner's warehouse, they are no longer under my control. And so maybe you want to guys want to contact Grosner about that. Grosner was contacted and I don't remember what their response was if they even delivered a response to the alleged to the allegation of what was happening in the distribution warehouse with the autographed um, chase figures being cherry picked um, by an unscrupulous employee and, and resold on, on the secondary market. And as far as being resold on eBay, those tapes and Tavares autographed chase figures back then, at least, I don't know about now, but back almost 10 years ago, were probably selling for $250 each, maybe as much as $300 each. So, you know, clearly it was, it was profitable and lucrative for the person to do this. But again, there's a matter of ethics and isn't, you know, unscrupulous and what's being done about it. Well, ultimately nothing was done about it to my knowledge, but yeah, um, there's a little bit of a scandalous story for you involving the Jonathan Taves, John Tavares autographed chase versions being again, pilfered or plucked in the warehouse and resold. So just another interesting tale from collecting there for you guys. And here's a continuation of Series 5 basketball, which we had seen previously. Tracy McGrady, rug and chase figure, rug in the blue, uh, chase in the white. Here's Yao Ming's first figure, his rookie figure. Uh, regular in the white jersey there, chasing the uh, Red Rockets jersey. He's in the Basketball Hall of Fame. 
Another Hall of Famer, Steve Nash. White jersey, Dallas Mavericks chase from his days in Dallas. And then down here is Defensive Player of the Year, uh, Ben Wallace. There he is in the white regular jersey, Pistons, blue chase. Plus there were hair variations, as you can see there. There he is with the, like the air fro. And this version has Wallace with the cornrows. Chris Webber, purple jersey chase figure, Sacramento Kings. And Sharif Abdurrahim, white jersey, Atlanta Hawks chase figure here. And this one on the end is Nomar Garcia Parra, white, uh, white jersey Red Sox chase for him, Series 9. And we'll see those in just a little bit, baseball. I move up here to some Series 6 NBA. Carmel Anthony's rookie figure, regular in the blue, chase in the white. We had seen this figure previously in that two-pack LeBron James, uh, Carmelo's rookie figure. Michael Finley, white jersey Dallas. A rare black jersey chase figure exists that was available uh, only in Germany. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but it was it was German distributed. I don't know why, but it's very rare. Here's AI, regular in Chase, regular in the black Sixers jersey, and Chaser in the white, second version of him. Rick Jefferson, blue jersey Chase from the Nets. And down here is a Tim Duncan, second version, black jersey Chase figure. You can see down there is a regular in the white. Two versions here, the mailman Carl Malone. Regular as a member of the Lakers, purple. And then Chase as a member of the Utah Jazz, one of their uh, late 90s Jazz jerseys. Stefan Marbury, that's a white jersey, retro Suns Chase figure. You can see there. And over here is the glove, Gary Payton, another defensive stalwart. White jersey, Lakers, reg Chase. Supersonics, uh, green jersey, repaint Chase figure. Sorry, this one's the regular figure, and this one's the Chase. And down here, Scotty Pippen, former Bulls, great. Regular in the red jersey, and here, Chase in the white. Former point guard, shooting great, Pedro Stojakovic, and the Purple Kings jersey, Chase. And these two figures of Vince Carter kick off uh, the NBA Series 7. I do like that pose with the... The basketball between the legs. And there's a regular purple jersey Vince Carter figure, as well as the red jersey Chase. Reggie Miller here, yellow jersey Chase figure, Pacers. Compliments of Mo. Thank you so much, Mo. Never got the white jersey regular, though I wish I had. And the Series 7 will continue on to the next display. We'll see those in, in just a bit. Moving up top here. Are some Series 9 NBA figures. There's a Mika Okafor of the Bobcats, Charlotte Bobcats. Former number one overall pick in the draft. Only one version of him. Same thing, Jason Richardson, just one version. Uh, blue jersey, Golden State Warriors of Jay Rich. Here's regular in Chase, Amare Stoudemire. Regular in the purple, Phoenix Suns jersey. Chase in the PHI, PHX uh, orange third jersey, Chase. And this is Dwayne Wade's first figure. That is his rookie figure, first one issued by McFarlane. There you see D. Wade in the Black Heat regular jersey. And here is Chase version in the red. And the Series 9 continue up top here. First off, I'm going to go ahead and give you the usual apologize for glare coming off the package apology. But this is the best angle I can get them at. I can get these figures on with reducing the glare so it's not so annoying. But anyway, there's LeBron in the blue jersey. That's the regular figure of him issued in Series 9. And there's his white jersey chase figure. That's the first time Todd issued him in, a, in the blue Cavs jersey, which I think is nice. And again, white jersey chase here. And Trace McGrady, white jersey Houston Rockets chase figure here. Steve Nash, now a member of the Phoenix Suns, purple jersey chase. There's Kobe. There's his purple jersey chase figure. We already see we already seen his regular figure in the gold. That was a loose figure I had, which I saw which, by the card display there, with his little three-inch figure. And so here's the purple jersey in package chase. And again, I have the, the loose gold regular figure. Richard Rip Hamilton of the Detroit Pistons, Reg and Chase, Reg in the blue, and Chase in the white. And if you can see in the package there, Rip is wearing a signature mask. And on the end here, Dirk Nowitzki, only one version in the white Mavericks jersey.
Continuing along the wall here, making our way towards 12, are some Major League Baseball Series 9 figures down here that you're seeing. And in the middle are the continuation NBA Series 7 figures that we had just seen the start of. And up top, the NBA figures continue with Series 8. And in the middle here are some wrestling figures we'll take a look at. So we'll start at the bottom of the base with the MLB Series 9 figures. We had seen the start of it with the Nomar Garcia Pera, white jersey, Red Sox chase figure. There's a 3-inch Alfonso Serrano figure in the white Nationals jersey. Once again, if I see a figure in 3-inch scale in a uniform that he's not uh, featuring in 6-inch scale, I get it from my collection. So that's why I got this Soriano. Here's Mario Rivera, pinstripes chase figure. The regular has him in the road gray. One-time pitching star Dontro Willis, Reg and Chase, Reg in the black jersey, and here Chase in the in the road gray. These two Hall of Fame pitchers, Randy Johnson and Pedro Martinez, are retro series, as you see it on the sticker, Chase figures from their days with the Montreal Expos, where both started their careers. Randy there in the early '80s, and I really like that that powder blue with the the red, white, and blue hat. That's just that's nice. Really a fan of that. And Pedro in the early '90s in the road gray there. Montreal Expos. Then come back to the top here is Todd Helton. It's a gray pants chase figure. The regular version had him in white uh, pants. Andrew Jones in the diving pose. And what a glove he had in his prime. Regular in the white Braves. Chase in the gray. And then on the end is one-time Sox star Magli Ordonez. Regular in the gray road. And Chase, black jersey. And then moving up to the basketball figures, the continuation of NBA Series 7 that we had seen with the Reggie Miller and Vince Carter. And here we'll start with Kevin Garnett, Reg and Chase, Reg in the blue jersey, and Chase in the white. Another version of LeBron James you see here. Regular has him featured in the red Cavaliers, white Chase. Up above here, a couple loose three-inch NBA figures. There's a Paul Pierce Celtics. And same LeBron figure we just saw, only in three-inch scale, loose. A Yao Ming, white jersey chase figure. Regular, as you can see, picture there in the red. Another version of him. Here's Michael Red on the Milwaukee Bucks. White jersey regular and green jersey, road, uh, green road jersey chase. Ben Wallace, white jersey chase figure. He's got a little commemorative uh, sticker on there as well. Jason Williams, former point guard, Memphis Grizzlies, white jersey chase figure. And now this Allen Iverson kicks off the Series 8. There he is in, a, in another, talking about poses here, a cool pose. I wish Todd would use this pose more in his NBA line with a basketball on his hip. That's the black jersey chase figure. Let me go up top here for the rest of Series 8. There's another version of Carmelo Anthony. Regular in the white, and Chase here in the blue. Jason Kidd, New Jersey Nets, gray jersey, Chase figure. Sean the Matrix, Marion, Reg and Chase, Reg in the white jersey, and Chase in the Phoenix orange, same kind of uh, jersey we saw Mari Stoudemire in, in the Chase figure. Corey Maggette, he played for a lot of different teams in his career. White jersey Clippers, Chase figure. See Stephon Marbury again, white jersey Knicks chase. Shaquille O'Neal, now a member of the Heat, red jersey regular, dunking off the rim there, which is cool, and black jersey chase. On the end here, Lamar Odom, yellow jersey chase figure, regulars in the purple. For some reason, I really can't figure out, the Lamar, this Lamar Odom chase figure, you know, it sells for a few dollars in the secondary, and again, I don't know why. Odom was a star of his day, not a superstar, a megastar, or anything like that. But for some reason, people just wanted the Lamar Odom figure, uh, regular chase. And then below that, where there's some of the wrestling figures, Road Warriors. Once again, once again, I mentioned back in showroom A, I'm a big fan of them. These are the first figures issued of the Road Warriors by Jack Specific. Uh, there you see Animal with the blue shoulder pads and the championship belt. I like that one, and Hawk. His tag team partner here and the blue again blue shoulder pads and, and boots and belt and the two pack of uh, the classic superstars two pack has uh, both guys in, in red 
red shoulder pads and red boots uh, and a mullen hawk. And so once again, when I saw these out there, I had to get them for the collection. They are the Road Warriors. I'm a big fan of them. And here we see some Major League Baseball figures from Cooperstown Series 2. As well as some Cooperstown figures down here in these boxes. And this display brings us one tick away now from 12 on the clock. I'll we'll start at the top of the display. One of the greatest players that ever played professional baseball, Willie Mays. There he is in the gray jersey, Giants reg. And Mets jersey, repaint chase figure. And for those who remember Willie, probably choose to remember him as a member of the Giants as opposed to the Mets. But he was such a great player and just transcended the game, in my opinion. Speaking of transcendent players, Calpin Jr. here in the white jersey reg and orange jersey chase of the 2,131 Ironman streak, consecutive games played. I think that's supposed to be Cal in his younger days, judging by the head sculpt and the uniform he's wearing there. The bamboo himself, Babe Ruth, regular in color there, and the sepia chase. And it's not the first time we've seen the sepia, the sepia chase in my collection. We've seen the Gehrig and the ore figures. But this is the first time Todd used the sepia uh, technology innovation call, which you want on a figure. And it's just Todd being creative there, so hats off to him. Here's Mike Schmidt and Willie Stargell. Just one version of Schmidt there in the powder blue uniform of the day, the Phillies, when he played. And white jersey, Willie Sargent Chase, we saw him previously as the All-Star Fan Fest exclusive. Jim Catfish Hunter. There's a cat as a member of the A's. And here is a member of the Yankees Road Chase jersey. That's, that's a chase version there in the road gray. And then down here are some more Cooperstown figures in the boxes. Here's a Roger Maris Mickey Mantle 1961 Collector's Edition box set. Uh, just a beautiful piece. Absolutely had to get it from my collection of these two legends. And I actually got an extra one from my father because my father is a big fan of Mickey Mantle. My father grew up idolizing Mantle as did many uh, kids of his day. And also my uncle, uh, my father's brother, my uncle Mike, and my grandpa Steve were huge Yankees fans. And I'll give those guys credit. You know, my, my uncle's still alive and, and still kicking. And I uh, just want to say hi, Uncle Mike, for this video. And my grandpa's passed. But those guys stuck with their team because the Yankees weren't always good. The Yankees were actually very bad in the 80s and didn't start getting good again until the late 90s with Jeter and Rivera and, and Posada and those guys. So, And down here is 12-inch Nolan Ryan Collector's Club exclusive. It's a, a re, it's, it's the same figure as a 6-inch scale that I have in my collection, but this is just a 12-inch. Uh, again, I love uh, that Houston Astros throwback, and it is Nolan Ryan. So when I saw it I, on, on the Collector's Club, I had to get it from my collection. And finally, we reach 12 o'clock. This is the final display of sports picks to show you. As far as the display itself goes, it's a Boston Red Sox Collector's box set with some MLB Series 14, NFL Series 11 and 12, and then up top are some NHL Series 19, mostly Legends figures. And off your perspective of, again, where we are on the clock and where we started, so now we're back at the staircase. And this was a staircase. I came down and showed you these figures here, which should at least look somewhat familiar if you've been watching the video. And we came down to the basement, and I began over here with this display. Again, should look familiar. And then just kind of wound you around the basement, again, moving clockwise, showing you all the sports figures, including in the room back there. And once again, brings us back here to our point of origin, our starting point, and this display here of sports picks that I wish to show you. And before we go ahead and take a look at this final display of sports picks, what I want to like to do is turn the camera around and I want to... I'll put my face on camera to deliver a personal message to my YouTube viewing audience. And that message is, thank you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. To the sports enthusiasts out there, we have now reached the end of the road with all the sports stuff in my collection that I've showed you. I hope it's been informative, enjoyable, and even mildly entertaining. And I hope it hasn't disappointed. 
Um, and I hope you stick around because I do have more stuff to show you here in the basement, the non-sports action figures and the die cast. But regardless, thank you again. Thank all of you. Thank you all of you for, for watching my videos so far. Again, I hope they haven't disappointed. I assure you I've put a lot of effort into them. And if you've been watching these videos and you're wondering, so how many, how many figures have you actually showed us? Seems like hundreds or even thousands. Well, you are correct. It is in the thousands at this point. And I actually have numbers to show you in my final sign-off video where I will show you the final numbers because uh, I have it all broken down by category, my action figures and die cast. And we'll take a look at some of those numbers in the final sign-off video. But again, thank you so much for watching. And I still have more to show you yet. Thank you. Series 11 football begins for the top of display. I'm going to issue my standard. I apologize for the glare. And here is Tiki Barber, blue jersey reg, and white jersey chase. And there's a scarcer version of this chase that features him with red socks as opposed to blue. I just don't have that one. Tom Brady down here, reg and chase. Uh, reg in the blue. And chase here in the white jersey and blue pants. And this blue jersey reg is actually falls in the category of error variation. Let me show you how. If you'll observe on his sleeve, on Brady's sleeve, you see the Patriots logo. On this version, there is no logo on his sleeve. So it's sleeve logo missing. And I remember finding this at Toys R Us one day. They must have got five or six cases of this wave in. And I was just going through the figures, and I saw this one that had the no logo on the sleeve, and so I bought it from my collection. Uh, Jason, a.k.a. The Professor, is not the only one with the discerning eye. At one time, I possessed it as well. Uh -huh. Joe Horn, Reagan Chase. Reagan the dark uh, jersey, Chase in the white. Former uh, Cowboys running back Julius Jones down here, Reagan Chase. Reagan the white jersey, Chase in the third Thanksgiving jersey with the little upper deck mini jersey up top. That's a Dom Fine. Thank you, Dom, from his days at Toys R Us. Uh, Willis McGee, Reagan Chase figure, Reagan the dark. Chasing the white. He was a great running back. Randy Moss, only one version, white Raiders. One of the rare offensive linemen, Willie Rofe. He's in the Hall of Fame, Chiefs. And there's a prototype figure that has a white jersey, red pants. Only a couple in existence. And there's Ben Roethlisberger, black jersey, reg. There's a white jersey chase, but I never uh, obtained that one from my collection. And more on that in a second. The reason I never obtained the white jersey chase version of this Roethlisberger, which happens to be his rookie figure, the, his, rookie, his uh, action figure debut, but there will be several more versions of Roethlisberger issued by McFarlane. But the reason I never obtained the white jersey chase is because it was reissued. And let me show what I'm talking about. Over here, there is the white jersey chase. And it's part of this wave. This was, I think, a GameStop exclusive, exclusive wave, if I'm not mistaken. But once again, it was reissued here as part of this wave, not as a chase figure, as a regular figure, but it's the same figure I just showed you, only with the white jersey. So as far as I'm concerned, that's that's just the white jersey chase there. And therefore, getting back to this Roethlisberger, I never went out and obtained the white jersey from this series from my collection. Moving on here is Alex Smith. This actually is a chase figure. It's a surprise chase figure, and it's the only figure of Alex Smith that McFarlane produced. And it's kind of a shame what happened to Smith. He was having a promising career until that gruesome leg injury, and now who knows if he ever comes back from it. And down here is Chase Neelam, another surprise Chase figure, one of the few kicker figures offered by McFarlane. It's just Elam, Robbie Gold, and Adam Vinatieri as far as kickers go. And then moving up here to the top of the display, here are a couple of quote-unquote leftover figures from Series 12 of Donovan McNabb and Anquan Bolden. Series 12, you recall, uh, had LeVar Arrington, Drew Brees, LaDainian Tomlinson some of the socks variations, Brett Favre with the towel uh, thrown over his shoulder to chase. That's Series 12. And I just couldn't fit these figures on that display, so I put them over here. This is Donovan McNabb, uh, black jersey chase figure. And also we saw the super chase of him with the no helmet when I showed you guys my no helmet figures. So there is a super chase version that exists of him, as well as down here, Tom Brady. Um, there is a super chase, no helmet version of Tom Brady that exists, which I never picked up from my collection. Always wish I had. But yeah, and, and, there, and that even that one has two versions. There's Brady, and you would see Brady's head sculpt in the, in the no helmet version. There's one with eye black, and there's one without eye black on the super chase on the Brady no helmet. And then here's an Anquan Bolden uh, Chase Surprise figure issued in Series 12. A uh, great receiver, like we pointed out. Probably should be in the Hall of Fame someday. And up top here, the NHL Series 19 Legends figures you're seeing. 
final row of sports picks in my collection to see. And this is actually kind of an odd hybrid wave. We had seen this uh, wave earlier with these two figures, Alexei Kovalev and Ryan Smith. They kicked off wave 19. So it's two modern players, and then it's all NHL legends. Uh, beginning here with our good buddy Don Cherry. And this time, Cherry's not sporting the, the flashy suit or grapes as dog, but he's in coaching gear. You see the, the stick and the whistle there. Um, Don, Don Cherry was the one-time head coach of the Boston Bruins. Above him is a three-inch version of Manny Ramirez. We had seen the six-inch Toys R Us uh, version uh, previously in the collection. Back to legends here is Tony Esposito. Uh, Tony O, the great Hall of Fame goaltender, began his career with the Montreal Canadiens and eventually found his way to the Chicago Blackhawks, where he's currently a Blackhawks ambassador. Two versions of uh, goaltender Grand Fear, who was a great goaltender in the 80s and part of the 90s, but neither is a chase, just two different regular versions. Here it features a member of the Calgary Flames, and here is a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And one last little observation here to offer you guys. Notice on this Grand Fier, the mask, GF. And look at his equipment, where it says GF there on his pads, GF. And then his stick just says Fier. The equipment he was wearing with the Leafs when he played for him back in the early 90s was issued by a company called DR, or DNR, I think they're called, which no longer exists. And apparently Todd couldn't get the licensing to put the DR logo on Fear's equipment. So in lieu of that, he just went with Grant Fear's initials. And on the end here, Hall of Fame goalie Bernie Perrant, regular member of the Flyers and Chase version as a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And for a long time, Perrant had the single season wins record for NHL goal turn of 47 wins. And that's since been eclipsed by both Martin Brodeur and Braden Holpe, who have recorded 48 wins in a season.